Hi friends, welcome back to another story time at Wheatberry Books. We're still not quite ready to have everybody in here yet. Want to make sure everyone is healthy and our story time space is so small we can't really distance enough. So we're going to keep doing it this way the first Saturday of every month. And I'm bringing you one of my favorite new books today by Nicola Kinnear called A Little Bit Brave. This one's about bravery and adventure and I think you're going to like it. So let's do it. Logan was a stay-at-home bunny. His friend Luna was the daring one. She had new adventures every day. They sounded quite exciting, but rather frightening too. So whenever Luna said, come on with me, it's fun, Logan said, oh no, I'll never go outside. It's far too scary. At last, Luna had had enough. You have to come out with me. No, said Logan. You're no fun, said Luna. I'm too scared, said Logan. Are you guys more like Logan or Luna? Sometimes Logan just, sometimes Logan, you just have to be a little bit brave, shouted Luna, and she stomped out. Logan tried to have a normal morning. He watered his indoor plants and he dusted his shell collection. He baked some cookies, but nothing felt right. He was very upset. Luna had never been angry with him before. I have to make it up with her right away, he thought. There was just one problem. Luna was outside. It would be an adventure, and Logan had never had one of those. He had no idea what to pack, so he took a snorkel and a flashlight and a tin of cookies. Then he put on his favorite scarf, gathered up all of his courage, and tiptoed out. It was strange and noisy in the woods. There was flapping and scurrying, tweeting and rustling. I knew it would be scary, thought Logan. He took a deep breath and called, Luna! There was no reply. But lots of other animals scampered up. Luna, they said, she's the bravest bunny in the world. She dives into the river to collect shells, said an otter. She rides around, on the for rides around the forest on my back, said a deer. She explores the deep, dark caves and goes looking for bears, said a fox. That sounds so scary, said Logan. But if you do those things too, said a mouse, perhaps you'll find her. So that's exactly what Logan did. First, he dived into the river. Splash! Ooh, it was chilly. He was lucky he'd packed a snorkel. There was a whole new world underwater. Logan saw fish and frogs and snails, but he didn't see Luna. Then he rode off with the deer. Whoosh. My, it was fast. It was lucky he'd brought his scarf to help him hold on. There was a whole new world in the woods. He saw sparrows and squirrels and butterflies, but he didn't see Luna. Then he tiptoed into a cave. It was lucky he'd backed his flashlight. There was a whole new world in the dark. He saw bats and spiders and sleeping bears, but he didn't see Luna. Logan was amazed at all the things he'd done. If only I could find Luna, he said. She'd be really proud of me. He was so pleased with himself, he decided to have a cookie. But before he could open the tin, he heard a shout. Stay back, you wicked wolf. Well, that voice sounded very familiar. Fact sounded just like Luna. Oh no, a huge hungry wolf was trying to eat her. <sighs> Logan hid behind a tree. Suddenly he didn't feel brave at all. I want to go home, he whimpered. But he couldn't let Luna be eaten, so he picked up his cookies, gathered up all his courage, and ran. No! He cried, Don't eat Luna! my cookies! The wolf was very surprised. Cookies, he said. Don't mind if I do. And he gobbled up the whole lot. The wolf was very friendly after that. That was amazing, cried Luna. When did you become so brave? I think it started this morning, said Logan, when I was baking cookies. Luna laughed. Shall we go home and bake some more? I'd like that, 
said Logan. But first, we need another adventure. And off they went. That's the end of that one. I hope you enjoyed it. And have lots of adventures and pack up your courage this week. I'll see you guys later.